Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna for those of you who are new here and today we are going over Masterbooks Math Level K. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. everybody so I am going to turn the camera around in a minute and just do a quick flip through for you and then after that I'm gonna go over just some of my thoughts and give you guys some um, just something to think about that I wasn't thinking about when I purchased this curriculum and to tell you why we won't be using it and hopefully that can help save you some money and just give you some things to think about so but there's not a bash on master books or anything like that so <laughs> i'm not doing that here so i'm gonna turn the camera around okay all right you guys so today's review is actually going to be slightly different uh in my last two or three three reviews I have done a flip through of the entire book but this one I'm just going to hit a couple of the lessons so you can see um, I'll do you know a few lessons in the beginning a few lessons in the middle and then I'll show you a few lessons of the end just so you can kind of get an idea of what will be expected for your, your from your child throughout the entire year now I purchased this book for my daughter who is five and the entire year I have referred to her as preschool kinder-ish and um so this was actually going to be her first formal math program but we actually will not be using it and i will go over why in a moment so this is a list of all of the materials that you will need and for what lessons you'll need them for this is a suggested daily schedule this is designed to be a 36 week program uh done five days a week and an estimated 30 minutes a day at the time of filming it is a 35.99 on their website it's a biblically biblically based <laughs> charlotte mason curriculum i'm forgetting how to speak and this is uh charlie and charlotte and so it goes through living lessons of the twins stories and it's incorporated into the lessons for the week now it has a lot of critical thinking uh, exercises as well as tracing and the entire book focuses on your child learning their numbers from 0 to 10. So it focuses on them counting, writing, really just having that firm foundation of those numbers. It also includes uh, some calendar activity, um, directional phrases and graphing, and then they also learn some of the seasons. I'm gonna skip to the middle of the book. So they'll also learn, like I said, measuring right here. They go over the United States flag. And then they can even make some of the recipes that are included in the book. All right, and here we are at the end of the book. Um, it also goes over money, and I would encourage you to buy one of those, you know, play money packs on Amazon or at your a local store just so it could help your child really understand the concepts of money more by working with it that uh, really helped my son last year we would take the play money and i would charge him for each snack that he got throughout the day so it just kind of helped him learn you know how are all the different ways that you can make 50 cents or you know how can what are some of the different ways that you can make a dollar and things like that so this is the end of the book and then at the very end it does have some practice sheets um, it has a calendar for your child to make, and then it gives you some uh, an, a short answer key on some of the puzzles that they had. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around, though, and um, just go over this a little bit more. 
All right, everybody, that is the flip through. Now, um, we actually will not be using Masterbooks Level K. My daughter is five and she has never had a formal math curriculum. We had actually just been teaching her the things that our son was going over at her age when he was in public school. So, you know, I didn't feel the need to get a curriculum because it's all basically just number recognition, shapes, colors, seasons. It wasn't anything that that felt overwhelming that I couldn't handle on my own. And she had been working on those things for the last two years. So um, because she had never had a formal math curriculum, when I was thinking about what she was gonna need for next year and you know, I was purchasing some of like the kindergarten uh, curriculum for language arts, I was thinking, oh, well, she's for sure gonna need math, um, kindergarten math because she's never had anything. And so, I didn't do my due diligence and see what all the book covers. I just thought, you know, I didn't I didn't get her to where she needed to be. Like not that I didn't get her to where she needed to be, but I was just thinking that you know, I didn't get her as far as I had actually gotten her. So when this math curriculum arrived, I was going through it and I was like, she knows all of this. <laughs> so I was actually really proud of myself in that moment because I'm sitting here, you know, going over it. And like I said, it goes through numbers zero to 10 and we have actually covered zero to 100. So when I saw that and then I was going over everything else that the book covers, I did find some things that her and I need to work on, but it's nothing that is going to require us to use this entire book. So I would encourage you that if you are brand new to a curriculum or your child has never had a formal curriculum to jump on to whatever website you are planning on buying curriculum from and take their free assessment because after I saw that she she basically like tested out of this book, um, I went on to Masterbooks website and she took the assessment and she's actually slotted to be in first grade math. So that was like, you know, a confirmation for me that I'm doing great with her and she is doing great for herself. And I'm just, I'm so, so proud of her. I mean, she really drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> like when we get to the number nine, it like, she could say nine 15 times and then the minute you show it to her the 16th time, she's like, I don't know. <laughs> so sometimes she drives me crazy, but she's so just awe-inspiring. I just, you know, you guys, sometimes we just gotta give it to our kids that like they're where they need to be because of you and you're not failing them. Even when you feel like you're not doing anything amazing for them, even when they forget what the number nine is, even when, you know, your family or your friends might try to like, you know, test them and they don't know something, like they know so much more than we think they know. And they are higher than we think that they may be. So, if you're gonna get a new curriculum, go and check the website and see if they have a free assessment so you can save yourself time and money that I did not think to do. And I can't even return this because I bought it outside of the, um, the return window, but that's fine because I can use this for the baby when he, when he's older, but I just, I thought it was funny that, you know, I was so certain that because she had not had a formal math curriculum that she was going to need this and she actually needs something higher. So let me know down below. <laughs> Are you thinking about using Masterbooks Level K Math? Did this help you? Um, would you like to see a video on some of the things that I've done for her with math just to see, you know, what you might want to focus on? Uh, I can do that if you guys are interested in it. Otherwise, I won't do that and I'll move on to other things. If there is anything that you would like to see a video on, let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you again later. Bye!